Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new YouTube video where I'm trying something new, kind of maybe kind of giving more of a streamer's perspective on something that I just saw kind of pop up and everyone else is talking about it too. So I figured might as well make a YouTube video on it. Uh, if any of you guys are brand new to the channel, you guys are always welcome to leave comments down below or like, subscribe, all that stupid stuff that YouTubers try to sell it for. I'm not usually a YouTuber, I'm more of a streamer. So uh, if this video sucks, that's probably why. But I'm going to want to go and talk about the new Pokemane situation that just recently happened. If you guys don't necessarily know, I can give you guys the quick rundown before we watch a few clips basically what she decided to go do is to limit down the max amount of money that you can donate to her twitch channel and i think that's absolutely awesome i'm like one million percent down and support this i'm going to show you guys the clip right now that she kind of announced on her twitch channel right here and uh we'll kind of all probably show a few of the clips as well for the other ripples and kind of give my thoughds on it this is a little bit of a weird youtube video so like i said uh, let me know in the comments if this is strange dumb stupid or if you guys are new say it, what up uh, but yeah, so basically, this is the clip over here from Pokemon. I'm going to shut up. You can play it. I worked with Streamlabs in order to create a custom donation cap of $5 on my channel. I think this might be the first time they've ever done that. I'm not really sure. Um, I just really want to thank you guys for supporting me when I was in high school, when I was in $20,000 in debt in university, to the very, very lucky place where I am today and where I consider anything more than that just unnecessary i worked with so two things i want to say to this clip number one i have to say her her webcam looks fucking great i gotta go give her credit i think it looks phenomenal and number two i think the idea behind it is so interesting and so cool so basically what it is is i think we could all kind of agree and collectively know some of the higher tier streamers make a lot of money um just off of pokemon alone i'm sure she's easily a multi-millionaire without a doubt uh, if you kind of want to go even quickly into some of the analytics for her channel, if you kind of go through her channel in the first place, if you look through her uh, channel in general, a million views, 700,000 views, 940,000 views. And even on like the easy CPM of not even running ads just off the intro alone, let's say it's like a $2 CPM, which is very low. That is an easy $2,000 right there. Granted, there's like all the weird things of they're not going to all be monetized or whatever, but just for sake of easy conversation. So that's insane. So that's $2,000 just by turning on her stream. Doesn't count subs, doesn't count donations, doesn't count her contract with Twitch, which I'm sure is many, many thousands and thousands of dollars a month. Also, if you mix into her uh, YouTube channel as well, a lot of her videos are over 10 minutes, so they're probably all double added. You can also, let's just say, a very easy $2 CPM. It's way higher and also multiple ads. Let's say there's five ads in this video. There you go. That's going to be an extra three, four, five, six thousand dollars $6,000, depending on how much uh, monetized views you get. Also, on her channel alone, it has over 500 million views. Times it by, let's say, two for very easy math. It's going to be way higher than that. That's a million dollars right there. And that also does include the merch, doesn't include the Poke Palette, sponsors, anything of the sorts. It gets, she's rich. Like, we all know this. But that's why it's even cooler, because she understands the idea that it doesn't matter that you can keep on making more and more money, more on the fact alone that she probably has enough, she can keep on maintaining enough, she has a Twitch contract, so they're gonna be paying her, and also just watching, she can run ads, she can work with companies, she can do sponsorships, and that's enough. And that's nothing but respect, in my opinion. That's very, 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 very cool. Uh, there actually has been a few other content creators making some comments on it. Uh, I thought Tyler1 had a fucking absolutely hilarious one. I'm gonna show you guys this and also XQC's reaction on top of this, and I'll uh, give a little bit more kind of, I guess, talk on it as well. But basically what happened with uh, Tyler1 is funny enough, watch the first two seconds of this clip and hear what he says. Thank you, Nate, for that $100. Dude, I seen that uh, <laughs> Pokey did... I, I would absolutely hate to be the guy who just donates Tyler1 $100 as he's about to make fun of everyone who donates anything more than, say, $5. So watch the clip. The $5 bullshit? Who can only max $5? I need to do that, honestly, because I cannot stand fake reacting. I mean, people send $100, and then I feel like an asshole if I don't, if I'm not like, oh my god, whoa. That's crazy. But the people are too stupid not to do that. Thank you, Nathan, for that. See, and I kind of almost think the same thing as for me as a streamer, because it is really weird. Because sometimes people will literally donate you money just for a reaction. It's so strange. It'll basically be like, hey man, here's like $10, or hey man, here's you, like, do this. Not to support your stream, not to support you as a person, not to be nice. They want something from you. And sometimes you can even see that maybe from people doing like, uh, re like, 
hey, this streamer said you're a bitch. Like, Ms. Kiv thought you were awful. Ms. Kiv reacted to you saying you're ugly. To kind of, kind of, like, stir up drama and kind of do, like, kind of, I guess, negative things. Or be like, LOL, you're fat. LOL, you're fat. LOL, big head. LOL, big head. LOL, you're bald. LOL, Tyler, whatever. You're ugly. And sometimes people just want to have the reaction, which is super negative. Instead of just trying to be supportive and nice. So it's also kind of even nice, too, that... It also tones down all that weird negativity that also kind of comes into those weird people. Or maybe someone's really drunk and they're just like, hey, here's a thousand dollars that they just can't afford. And I think the idea that people can limit that and kind of understand that some of these bigger streamers, Tyler One, XQC, Pokemon or whatever, uh, are well enough off that they just don't need it, which is great. That's good. Like, And they understand that and they're trying to push that and be like, hey, save your money. Enjoy the stream. It's free. Watch an ad. Watch a sponsor. Click a sponsor link. Buy a merch instead if you really want to support me because at least you get a product out of it. And that's how I feel as a content producer. If I could work with a company, like I did uh, two Raid Shadow Legends sponsors on my stream the past uh, few months. I'd absolutely rather do that because that's taking money from a company and offering a service. I love that. Selling merch, I love that. For my channel, we have 60 caddy modes that a lot of people use and mainly sub for. I love that because it provides an actual service that people get from their Prime subs or Twitch subs. Rather than just me trying to you know, make money and kind of stay sustainable as a streamer, I want people to have a good value out of what they get from watching my channel. And I love that some of these bigger streamers are trying to go push this where it's, hey, I'm a multi-millionaire. I make money. You don't have to give me your donations. Just watch my stream, or if you do want to donate, make it small, say hi, say I enjoy the stream, say whatever, ask a question, and that's so much more respectable. It's so much nicer, and I love that. I think that's so good, because number one, kind of how Tyler said is, there is no need for fake reactions. It has a better flow of content, because you don't have to sit there for 30 minutes crying. <laughs> and also, I kind of feel like it's also good for the viewers, because maybe they're overspending, because they really want to have someone's attention. Uh, maybe they're drunk. Maybe they're just going and spending money on credit cards and they don't necessarily realize because they get that thrill of donating. And it's a lot harder to go and donate $500 if you have to do it five, a hundred times at $5 intervals. It's so hard to do. It's like, eventually after you do it 20 times, you're like, okay, I'm just sick of doing this. Hopefully, I mean, I don't know, some people are crazy. Who, who knows? Uh, it's nuts. And I really do like the idea that people are talking about this. This is cool enough that I'm even talking about it on my stream. And I just love the idea that some Twitch streamers are kind of finally taking it back and realizing I have enough. I make enough. I don't have to milk every single crevice of my community and bleed everyone dry. And I love that because sometimes people are younger. Maybe they're only 16, 18. Uh, maybe they just have a part-time job in school. Or maybe they're in debt, have student loans. And it's a lot harder for someone to justify taking the money because they're already in debt. Like, I've had some viewers that are like, hey, you know, I just got my first job. Here's 10 bucks. I love that. That is so wholesome to me. That means the world. But it would also be really nice to me is if they went and paid off, you know, all their debts first, paid off their car, had some savings, and then they're like, okay, I have $5,000 in the bank. I don't mind, you know, throwing you a five spot. Hey, I just got a big paycheck. I don't mind throwing you five bucks because I'm taken care of. Some of my biggest donators in my own Twitch channel, I know have their houses paid off. And that kind of gives me the biggest sense of, I guess, stability and accepting of it because they're already well off enough. They don't have to worry about a mortgage every month. And it's, it's like easier. They're like well financially off. They're more better off than I am. And that makes me happy. But it always makes me feel bad when someone's like 16 working at McDonald's and they throw me 10 bucks when I probably have more money in savings than they do. In all honesty, I probably do. But that's just, you know, for me working, saving and all that stuff. I want to move out and live my life. All of that. Do sponsors, whatever. And just if you're 16, you haven't been working for that long. You don't maybe necessarily have as much debt because you're not in college yet. The idea behind it's so nice and so wholesome. And I think most streamers love it and appreciate it. But... It's just, you don't have to. It's okay. You can just enjoy content for free. And I think almost any, hopefully, normal good streamer would say, you can enjoy a stream for free. It's okay. You guys don't have to worry about it. It's okay. <laughs> and also, I think it also kind of takes back, at least for someone like Pokemon, who is a female, where they don't have to worry about the creeps being like, hey, here's $500. Let's go on a date. Hey, here's $1,000. Do this. Hey, here's $5,000. Do some jumping jacks. Do some sit-ups. And they're just creepy guys trying to go look at your feet, looking at your butt. Like, it's just weird. It can get really weird really fast. Uh, and also, I guess there is a few cons we can bring up. But overall, I think this is very positive and very nice for the Twitch community and very good that people are talking about it. But there are a lot of those uh, bigger streamers that do get a lot of chargebacks, either for memes or they just don't have the money or it's little kids trying to go use their parents' credit cards. So that does kind of somewhat take away the niceness of... Uh, that, because it is essentially clearing out one problem and making a problem easier. Is that bad? 
No, I don't think that's bad. I respect it, but it is something to also note. But I think I, I would probably be in the same way. Like, do you really want to deal with more chargebacks, have more people have to do more work, uh, have to worry about chargeback fees? It's a lot of effort. I respect it. I'd probably not want to deal with that too as well. I guess also a secondary thing too is people do get a lot of positive praise, say for Pokemon for this, but people can still just donate with bits. They can still donate with gift subs, uh, as well as they, I think also Twitch want to implement their own donation system. So realistically, they can, you can't necessarily stop that. Is that Pokemon's fault? Absolutely not, but there is always the workaround too. So I still respect it. I still think it's good, but there is also workaround. So it's kind of eh. And there is also, I guess, the one thing to consider is that she could be trying to win over a public favor. I don't think so. I think that's, I think that's dumb. I think Pokemon seems like a very, very nice, lovely lady. Her content seems wholesome. She supports her friends. She's doing a streamer. She's done charity stuff. Like, I think she's overall pretty good positive person to be one of the bigger females on Twitch. Uh, like, you know, and for the content, produ uh, like gaming content producing. But that is a possibility. You can maybe see that. I think that's a dumb take. It's something you should maybe consider just in general, but I think it's kind of dumb. I mean, I think Pokemon's kind of proven her worth as a good positive role model in the community. And yeah, I guess kind of the final thoughts, if you guys want to kind of maybe leave some comments down below and kind of give your thoughts on streamers having a cap. I, as like I said, as a streamer, I think it's cool. For me, I'm still a smaller streamer, so if someone's more rich than me, makes more money than me, wants to throw me a 20 spot or whatever, I also have media share on my stream and stuff, so sometimes that does go higher, because it does kind of affect the flow of the stream, so in my mind, I kind of justify a higher price point, because I don't know, what if we're doing a story game and someone throws me 30 bucks? In my mind, I'm like, okay, that's somewhat worth, uh, you know, stopping the content. If you're someone like a Pokemon Tyler 1 XQC, it's not really, it's not worth it. You're affecting more people than that money's worth. For me as a smaller streamer, it kind of is worth it. So I get it. Uh, I think, and I've always said this, if I could, if I was ever a big enough streamer and can live off of purely subs or purely YouTube revenue, sub revenue, whatever, sponsorship revenue, I'd probably get away and take away my donation button just entirely. Because at that point, do I really need it? If I have a paid off house, if I have savings, do I really need it? If I'm still making money and other means. But uh, that's just kind of my take. But uh, if you guys want to let me know your thoughts, your comments, uh, everything you guys think on this situation, let me know. I love making videos like this. I think it's very cool. It's outside of my comfort zone as well. So if you guys think it's dumb, bad, or whatever, you don't like me rambling, I don't know. Maybe you guys randomly found here from the YouTube algorithm or something. Maybe you guys are like, this guy sucks. Stop talking. Let me know. Uh, or and also, of course, leave a like, comment, dislike, and all of that if you guys would like. Uh, as I mentioned, I think it's cool. I think more streamers should follow suit. I love the idea that someone like Tyler1 is kind of in the same boat. Uh, and I think it just makes the streams better because it's less of a focus on money, more on the focus of making good content. Or say someone wants to donate like a question, it's easier to kind of, you still offer a service. You at least answer, respond and stuff like that. Rather than someone trying to buy your love, attention, all that. But uh, yeah, I think it's very, very cool. Props to Pokemon for doing this. I give her nothing but respect. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys all for watching. And like, of course, like I said, let me know if you guys like this type of content or if it's dumb and cringy. Let me know. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.